Here are the directions for virtual day two of 2019. So I'm going to try a few problems out for you. Steve put a box of 500 books on sh four shelves. Each shelf has an equal amount. How many books are on each shelf? Okay, here are some clue words to help me tell what's going on. I see the word each. I see the word equal. Both of those let me know I'm going to be dividing. So I'm taking the 500 and putting them on four shelves. So I'm really going to be doing 500 divided by 4. And we got a couple of ways that we could do that. One I can do box it up, bring it up. So really quickly I just put my 500 like this. And I'm dividing by 4. How many 4's in 5? 1. And 1 times 4 is 4. I subtract, I get 1. Bring that up. I now have 10 in my second box. How many 4's in 10? That would be 2. 2 times 4 is 8. I subtract, I'm now at 2. Bring it up. I now have 20 in my third box. And how many 4's in 20? That would be 5. 5 times 4 is 20. And there's no remainder on this one. I can also do partial quotients. So it looks like this, 500 divided by 4. So basically, we're going to see how many groups of 4 we can get out of 500. And right away I can see I can do 100. 100 times 4 is 400. And I'm down to 100. I think I can do 10. 10 times 4 is 40. And now I'm at 60. I'll do 10 more for 40. And I'm now I'm at 20. And five groups of four would be 20, so five times four is 20, and there's nothing left. I add them up, 110, 120, 125. So there are 125 books on each shelf. 64 books come in a box. If Joe bought 32 boxes, how many books did he get in all? In all usually tells me I'm adding, but multiplication is also repeated addition. So instead of me adding 64 32 times, I would rather use the area model and go like this. 60 plus 4 up here. 30 plus 2 down my side. And I'm multiplying them. So I'm using the area model, which a lot of people think looks like the window. In this first box, I got 30 times 60. So I got two zeros to a pin, and 3 times 6 is 18. In this box, I have 30 times 4, 1 zero to a pin, and 3 times 4 is 12. This box is 2 times 60, 1 0 to a pin, and 2 times 6 is 12. And the last box is just 2 times 4 is 8. And then I just need to add those up. So 1,800, 120, 120, and 8. And I just add. There's 8, 4, 8, 9, 10, carry my 1. 2,048 books. Lisa bought a coat for $79 and a hat for $25. If she paid using a $100 and a $20 bill, how much change did she get back? Well, change tells me I'm always going to be subtracting at some point. And when I do, it's usually, this is what happens. What you paid with minus what it costs. So let's see if we can find those two things. What I paid with we paid with a hundred and a twenty dollar bill so a hundred plus twenty that's a hundred and twenty dollars then what did we spend or what did it cost seventy nine plus twenty five and those two up nine plus five is fourteen seven eight nine ten we spent a hundred and four bucks so now we need to take 102 minus 104. You cannot do 0 minus 4. So you're going to come borrow from the 2. It makes him a 1. 10 minus 4 is 6. 1 minus 0 is 1. And 1 minus 1 is nothing. $16 left. Let's try this one out. Dave bought 6 dozen pinkies. He fed 14 to his snakes. How many pinkies does he have left? See the word left means we're going to be subtracting, so what you started with minus, in this case, what he fed to his snakes. It could be what you gave away. So we started with six dozen, so that would be six times twelve. Two times six is twelve. 
carry my 1, 6 times 1 plus 1 more is 7, so we start with 72. He fed 14 to his snakes, and then we just need to subtract. Come borrow, 12 minus 4 is 8, 6 minus 1 is 5, 58 pinkies left.